Welcome, everyone. Uh, again, we want to thank Donna for doing some yeoman service this morning. Um, and uh, it's always terrific to have her here. <laughs> well, we welcome all of you, and we invite you down to coffee hour. Um, and speaking of coffee hour, next Sunday, um, Outreach will be doing a coffee hour, a very special coffee hour, which will be an, a fundraiser for all that we do, um, because we have all these plans and dreams and, um, and want to accomplish them all, and can only do it with all of you. So I just wanted to warn you of that. Um, <laughs> to come next Sunday, come down to coffee hour next Sunday, and bring your wallet. <laughs> um, what is very, very special is Jane Rianoso has brought chocolate from Ecuador, and she's made some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, things, and um, that's gonna be really, really, really special. Um, we would also like to, uh, you'll notice in the bulletin, there's a meal train set up for Melissa, and you can um, just uh, click on that and, and add to anything you, you would, might want to for that. Um, we also have the annual meeting coming up on August 27th. Is there anything else for the good of the order? Kate, it's all yours. Good morning. Um, Obviously, Melissa can't be here, Pudi can't be here, Sarah stood in, I'm the fourth string quarterback. <laughs> um, which made me think this morning when I was thinking about how to introduce this, when I was a kid in um, Bowie, Maryland, my family dominated sports on our block. <laughs> and my brother, my older brother Michael used to play quarterback and he would inevitably, you know, in the huddle, tell all the big kids to go long, and then he'd hand it off to the youngest child <laughs> in the huddle, and we'd all block. So everybody go long. <laughs> um, but actually, the, the sports metaphor makes sense, because um, in football, in tennis, in golf, those of you who play golf with me know <laughs> I don't have a short game, but you have to have a long game and a short game. And so I want it in talk about the decision the vestry along with Ann and Peter Gilchrist have made about our campaign stewardship. So if you could come up, Ann and Peter, and I think Dennis, you're on the vestry, and Chris. So Ann and Peter again are gonna lead our stewardship campaign. And uh, we decided that the six-week campaign that felt like it never ended <laughs> was too much of a long game. So um, we're going to shorten that up to two to three weeks in October. Um, and we're separating it from the other long game, which is our um, planned giving. So um, this way, you know, it, it kind of turned out in the past that um, it dragged on too long asking y'all for stewardship and pledge. So it, in, since we're doing it in October, you might think, oh, what about the summer folks? But of course we still want the summer folks uh, to pledge, and of course they will. Um, they're essential to our community. Some of the summer folks have been here way longer than I have. So um, the theme is God's faithfulness calls us to respond. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. So whether you're here only in the summer or you're here for the duration, God's faithfulness calls you to respond. We do great big and little things here at St. Francis, taking care of each other and taking care of our community. So please give generously. Does anybody want to add anything? No. Thank you very much. And I'd like to ask, not for money, but for food. The, um, I stopped by the Tree of Life um, on their uh, food pantry day this uh, past Thursday, a couple days ago. And I got an updated list from them of items that they uh, really need badly just now. And we have a, um, a box in the cloakroom right there with the same list, uh, scotch tape to it, um, asking for um, what, what they need. And I'll read it off to you. 
um, pet food. They need canned and dried pet food. They don't get that from anybody else, just from donations. And they'll take big bags of dry food and put it into small Ziploc bags to distribute it. They need baked beans. Baked beans are a real hot item, summertime notwithstanding. Jams and jellies, bar soap, liquid soap, toothpaste, toilet tissue, facial tissue, paper towels. These are things that are in short supply right now and high need, and they would much appreciate, they appreciate other donations as well. But these also listed on the box in the cloakroom are things they need just now. Thank you very much, and keep them in mind, please. And I would uh, like to add that next Sunday, I'm scheduled to be on, but I won't be, because uh, prior to taking this position, as you know, Andy and I are sharing it, uh, two weeks on and two weeks off, my nephew is getting married next week in Connecticut, and I'm officiating, so uh, I won't be with you. Uh, so please keep us in your prayers for that, for safe travels and for his, his, his marriage. Uh, Andy will be with you. And then Andy and I will also, talking about stewardship, also in August, Andy will give a sermon on money and stewardship, and in September, I will. So you'll be hearing from us, too, and, and hearing different stories. <laughs>